messages? Yes. Yeah. Did he say what they said? Yeah. He um, came to the museum, but he has the videotapes and he slows it down and backs it up so you can see the different messages that are in different cartoons. Oh, that are for the cartoons children. and things for and, children. And, yeah. Messages. I was sitting there listening to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they.
at that time they were not universities. There were no four-year institutions? Yeah, in Columbia. Oh. But you, this you, was a two-year junior college. And of course you want to say that we're on, today is Sunday of the Family Union from Atlanta, Georgia, and we came over to uh, see the church and Bettis Academy and the historical family sites. And this is August 20th, 19, 2006. No, right there. Bettis Academy. Techniques, um, they taught, of course, all of the college subjects like the history, and mathematics, English, and science. Um, but the big thing was that you were furthering your education. Here it is, Bettis Academy. She was a custodian. She made the fire, and sometimes parents would come and help her cook and fix the lunch for the children. Bertha Bussey, okay. But she had, Bertha Bussey had a one room school at first, and eventually they increased it to eight rooms at her school. And this is the new buildings have been built. Here's the sign over here. Mm -hmm. I got it. Well, it still exists. Yeah. Well, that's the old thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This thing is Collins Professor Parker was the principal of this school. This is an old building that we met in, and it's like a conference center. So in the weekdays, it's probably open. Did you attend the school also? Oh, no, no. I was six years old when I went to Philadelphia. Oh, and it's when my father died. Huh? It's still not doing it. It's still not doing it. 59. And when he married, he married Martha Pixley. Martha? My great, great, great. They had great, ten great. children. Mm -hmm. And then Martha had a beautiful singing voice. And she directed the choir and played the piano. And all of the children, her children, especially the French children, played the piano and sang. And they grew up in the church, you know, singing in the choir because she was a choir director. Then in 1929, she injured her foot with a rusty nail. And evidently the home remedies didn't work, or maybe she didn't get to the doctor in a timely manner. So gangrene set in, and that's eventually what caused her death. And my mother was the housekeeper for Milton and Martha. Warren? Oh, you're Warren? I am too. Yeah. Yeah, my Warrens are from uh, Alabama. Mine from Edgefield and McCormick. Okay. Right. And Greenwood. Okay. Right. Our family's from Edgefield, McCormick, Greenwood, Aiken, and Avalon and Augusta. Mm -hmm. With the buses. Do you know any buses? I know Haven and them buses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're a lot, the ones that's with us are a lot older than you. Same family. Okay. Uh huh. So, since this is the big meeting Sunday, we're here. For oh. me. All your life, right? Yes, ma'am. And mine. the genealogy chart with me. No, I didn't know I needed it. Because I was at the museum. And here... <coughs> you remember the Landrum said that some... Here's Julian Schroeder. Uh-huh. Oh, um, his uh, brother who died. Julian? Uh-huh. Well, let me see. Yeah. This is Julian Strother of 82. 82? Mm-hmm. Because you take the nine and you add the 82. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And what you want to do is scan the brick design in that. Oh, okay, sure way. I oh, see, we didn't put this headstone here until a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Did you put the headstone here? Yeah. yeah. Do you do it yourself? Yeah. Uh, You're not Serena, did it? No, the family did it. So oh. was Ella was living. Mm -hmm. so, was I born when I was Ella was living? Uh, yeah. Now, Willie Simpson. I've never seen her before. I think that. I just stepped on that, too. Oh. Now, we saw the elephant. So here's a landing over here. So we want to make sure that we at least get all the names of the people who attended the family reunion because we were so happy to see them. And here's the grave of the Landrums over here. Hold on, let me sit there. If I was 19 something to 1995, Charity S. Landrum and Sam Abram Landrum. Alive with Jesus. Leonard Johnston, 1836 to 1923. Okay. Let me shoot it because it's got a picture. And you'll just pin those. Corey Nobles and Johnny Hamilton. Died October 20th, 1907, and died March 12th, 1905. And this is Reverend W. H. Oliphant, born 1857. Okay. So yeah. now we're leaving the cemetery at Springfield Baptist Church. So uh -huh. we found like the Kemp's, the Oliphants, and the Landrums. And this is yeah. the homecoming oh, and revival yeah. Sunday. Yeah, I like camps from here. Oh, well, it's a lot of Sims. Yeah, and we saw the okay, Simpkins. Okay, yes. The Simpkins are Kentosh too. Okay. Right. I saw the Kemp's right. So we just been there a long, long time. Yes. Okay. She also had mentioned that some of the family churches was also China Grove Baptist Church in addition to Bailey Bethel, Springfield Baptist, and um, the one we're heading to now. Oh. All right, what scripture do you think that they have on the program for the big meeting Sunday? It says, the pastor starts, though I speak with tongues of men and angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. <laughs> what you read, then the congregation yeah, says, right. and though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. That was the same scripture, if you remember, that was read at the program Saturday night at the Super 8 Hotel by Wayne Perry's wife. Nicole Perry. Nicole Perry. Nicole Perry. Nicole Perry, yes, <laughs> none other. So you can see that we feel that the Lord is again guiding this trip. And we have been talking about the Lord and the great things he's done and how he's moved in our lives, how he's kept our family in perfect peace. And at this time we found out we need to pray for Lynn Gorham, whose house we were just at, which is um, right before we got to Springfield Baptist Church. And she's had a stroke. But she lived in the house of David Strother, and the house is now in sort of dis